You're watching TTT Boxing in association with IFL TV and KO Clothing. Here with me I'm joined by Jack Brubacker ahead of his fight with Paddy Murphy on the March 12th Olympic Park card. Thanks for joining us, Jack. No problem, mate. Thanks for being here. No worries at all. Um, big fight between yourself and Paddy. Um, he obviously brings the Irish contingent. Uh, you've got a, a great following yourself. Um, obviously the last few fights have been pretty rowdy in the crowd. Um, what, um, what are your thoughts going into this fight and, and how do you see it going? Uh, I see him coming to fight. He wouldn't, he wouldn't have taken the fight if he didn't come and he's confident to win. Uh, I heard a little rumour downstairs, he, sort of, uh, he likes bashing Aussies, so he's going to be in, in, be, gonna be in for a rude shock on the night. I'm going to just go out there and focus on myself. This is the best training camp I've had. I've got uh, the top trainers in Australia, I've been having the best prep, been doing everything right. And uh, I'm just going to focus on myself and uh, get out there, do my thing and make him look silly. Excellent. And you, know, you mentioned um, you know, he's uh, obviously an Irish fighter, yourself being an Aussie. Is there a bit of uh, national pride at stake in, in a fight like yeah, this? Yeah, definitely. It's definitely a fight being in Australia. I sort of, I've got a lot of my fight fans coming out to watch me fight. And uh, no way I want to lose to an Irish kid in my own home soil. Excellent. Well, we look forward to obviously seeing a war there. And um, you know, moving on to the card itself, massive, massive fight card. Probably the biggest one we've seen in Sydney since probably the Gil Fletcher card a year and a half ago or so. Um, what are your thoughts on fighting on a, on a card like this? Yeah, I was straight up, but as soon as I seen this fight card that uh, Paul and Hannah put, put together, I was, I was stoked. Like, this has been the best uh, Aussie sort of fight card that I've seen in the recent years, and uh, to be part of that is a real honour. And uh, it's good to, uh, good to sell on the tickets, sort of, instead of uh, having sort of top Aussie prospects fight, uh, sort of people with losing records, everyone's, everyone's fighting a winning record on the night, and everyone's putting um, yeah. their, their sort of pride on the line, which is, is great for Aussie boxing. Excellent, yeah, absolutely. It's something we wanted to see for a while, you know, none of these mismatch cards that we yeah, get in exactly. sort of small RSLs, but actually moving up, having some 50-50 fights that, you know, a big... Yeah, exactly uh, right. Excellent. And what um, what are your thoughts on, on Aussie boxing in general? So we're, obviously Lucas Brown's here today, he's got his world heavyweight title fight. A lot of Aussies making that step up. Um, Jeff Horn's fight obviously um, has unfortunately just been called off, but there's Aussies making that step up. And do you yeah, see that yeah. like a real raft of talent coming through? Yeah, exactly right. That's what, that's what these, these shows that uh, Paul and Hannah are putting on, that's sort of uh, great for Aussie boxing, sort of to fight the best Aussie prospects in Australia. You've got to fight the best in Australia before you take that step up and start going overseas because we have, in recent times, we have been looking a little bit silly overseas because we've sort of been dodging our opponents over in Australia, sort of getting our records up and uh, getting overseas and sort of getting exposed. So the best thing about these fights is uh, everyone's fighting the good, good tough fights and uh, getting the ring experience and getting the hard rounds out before we head overseas and, and make Australia proud in the world scene. Excellent. That's probably one of the most common sense answers that we've, we've ever yeah. had on there, so I appreciate that. And um, after this fight, let's say it's great exposure, it's on Fox Sports, it's on epicenter.tv live yeah. as well. Um, you know, it'd be great for, for yourself in improving that fan base. Is there a, a goal for the next fight or, or for later this year? Uh, we just want to take one fight at a time, but uh, definitely sort of keep having the tough fights, keep getting my WBC rating higher and higher, and, and uh, yeah, we want to have a big year. We sort of uh, had, a, had to have a little bit of a sort of a prolonged break with the, um, since my last fight down Melbourne, which is a little bit of injury, but that comes and goes. So uh, feeling fit, feeling healthy, and uh, I just want to get a roll on. I just want to, I just want to get uh, the tough fights out and uh, have a big year and, and sit back and be proud of my achievements and then uh, look at sort of making 2017 an even bigger year. Excellent. Well, look, we know you've got a lot of media of, uh, duties to attend to, so we'll let you go now, but thanks for your time and uh, we'll obviously catch up with no you worries, on March mate. 12th. Thanks for the chat. Thanks, Cheers, Jack. Thanks, mate.